So the roughing in process as it relates to alignment is very important. We're going to go over some different methods to do this. The first method, and the one most people use, is the good old straight edge method. I'm simply just going to lay a straight edge across the top of this. Now, you'll notice that it wants to rock back and forth here, so you've got to locate off the one that's the highest. In this case, I'm resting on the pump side coupling, and if you can see, there's a gap right under there. I'll use this flashlight so it's a little easier to see. What I want to do is actually measure that. Here's 45, very close, within five thousandths of an inch, but it very snugly fits right under there. I can feel it almost drag in the front, but it's loose in the back, which tells me this, the back of this motor is lower than the front or the inboard. So by roughing in vertically, we're going to close that gap up. Whenever possible, you always want to do your vertical first. Once we establish this vertical up and down or elevation on this motor, we can slide it back and forth as far as the motor bolts and the holes will let us go, and it won't change this very much. But if we got it in side to side perfectly and just were proud of ourselves, then went to here and found out we had to shim it, we're going to put a pry bar into this motor and pick it up, and when we do, it's going to move, it's going to change. So get your vertical right first, then work on your horizontal. So now what I'm using is a filler gauge. Uh, you can use it the same as shims. As an old machinist, I'm a little more uh, drawn to using a filler gauge. So what I've got here are two blades, a 22 and a 23. That adds up to 45 thousandths. I'll wipe them clean, pull them together, and as I slide this under the coupling, I can tell that that is really, really close up and down. Now you don't have to rough in angularity. The most important part is getting the offsets right up and down and side to side. But you can. Uh, a great way to use that is a pretty old school tool called an outside caliper. Um, you don't see these used very much anymore, but they work very well for roughing in. What I can do is actually measure the gap across here till I get just a slight drag on this caliper. Now when I go to the bottom, I've got a gap. I've got some clearance here. So what that tells me is my coupling looks like this. It's narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. So in this case, it tells me that the outboard end of the motor needs to come up. And if I want to measure it, I can even go back here to the bottom, slide in this little 8 thousandths shim, and find out I have a gap change of 8 thousandths top to bottom.